Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the Grey Wall Race Meeting. We're on the Poly Track Monday, the 14th of March, and uh, the first race of our eight race program is off at 12.30. Very competitive card as normal on the Poly Track. Tony Ribland holds the key, he's got a couple of races absolutely made for his horses. And I expect him to uh, be very competitive. Let's kick off with race one, 1,000 meter maiden plate. And um, an interesting horse here is number one, Jungle Junction. Now, I had a horse called Jungle Junction. He's a pretty good horse. He won a, a big feature at, um, at Clearwood. Uh, I seem to remember black and white colors. Anyway, this is Jungle Junction. He was scratched yesterday uh, with Stipe's permission and gets him to run today. So now, who knows how that works? Um, I thought that they, if they were scratched, um, they had to have a suspension. Anyway, the Raspberry Beret might be the answer here, and and Darker. They look like the absolute two horses that will fight this out. Darker's got good form on the poly, gets Ashton Harry's, um, and certainly got to have a huge chance. But Raspberry Beret might have more room for improvement. Go back <clears throat> and look at his first run. Uh, that wasn't a bad run behind Princess Donnelly on the poly um, over the course. And this might just be better for Raspberry Beret. The th when she ran second, the time before last was a very good run. Interesting that they put her in the Colts race, obviously because she got the better draw here. Race uh, two, uh, Channel, uh, there's the maiden plate, Phillies of Mezzig, 1,400 meters. And Enclanzini looks like the right horse for Daryl Moore. Anton Marcus jumps aboard it. But the danger's got to be a Bay of Dreams. Donovan Dillon's ride for Doug Campbell. Go back a run, and you'll see it was a very good run behind Winter's Destiny. That gives uh, Bay of Dreams a big chance. But Trubadix uh, looks like the right one of the uh, Puller team. And Woodley jumps aboard. They want to look for big improvement. Not a bad first run from Trubadix. So that goes into the play as well. Race three, this is a maiden plate that goes 1,700 meters. So Theodore, course of distance, one good run. Got to have a chance of crawl one. Very open this race. Thunder Masala is your favorite. Um, Garth Puller, Anton Marcus jumps aboard it. Very good last two starts. Give Me a Dream comes from Joburg with Paul Peter. Got to have a chance. Apollo 11, Julius Mareba, Mareba rides this one for a while. Mowing three runs ago, very nice run. Take a good look at that one. And then a clean slate, Garth Buller's other runner gets um, Serena Moodley. There's two nice warm-ups in the province. Could go well on the poly. And Trident King's got a very good form. Uh, Gareth Wright, uh, let's just give him a chance. If he just sits midfield on this, um, he'll run very well. Top of the speed rating. Race four, Merit rated 86. They go 1,900 meters. I like from Grimaldi here. I think this is an absolute perfect race for him. 54 and a half. Um, gets Muzieni, he'll go very well. But um, Aramagam, number eight, Peter Muscat's run, runner, gets Warren Kennedy. Now, you know Warren Kennedy rides for the um, Paul Peter team, and he's not riding Grimaldi, so that's a very good pointer to Aramagam. He looks like the big danger, but then, as I said to you, Tony Rivlin holds the key Galway. Nice race for this horse. Uh, he's got good form. Look at the run behind Decorated. Not far beh behind um, Aramagam and could be able to turn it around with um, him on this occasion. So we'll be close between the two of them. Race five, um, 77,000 meter. I'm going for Mallorca Palace. I think this is the right horse. Had seven starts on the poly on this course and distance. One win in five places. And this looks like a perfect race for him. The big danger could be one too many. There's a very unexposed three-year-old, what a winter gelding. Uh, that's number four. Rachel Venica, Michael Roberts could go well. And the horse that always does well is Hampton Court. Gareth Wright gets this one for uh, Dennis Bosch. That's number five. Put him into all your play. I think he'll go well. Imitation game number 11 has been backed. Uh, that's Lorenzo Karin there in hot form. And Serena Moodley gets a ride on this one. Uh, didn't run a bad race last time, and that was only his first run in the province. Race six, um, fillies and mares, 1,200 meters, and you're either going to go the field or to two horses. Flashy Katrina and Ethiopian Queen are my top two. Very hard to separate them on collateral form. There's very little between the two, and they look like they should fight it out. Wyoming arrives with There She Goes, 
and this might improve on Apollo over a thousand meters. And then space race, Warren Kennedy, Paul Peter, Pacey, and could be well suited by this. They look like the ones, but any one of the others have got a chance. Bat out of hell, only had um, the one start and wasn't a bad run. She could be a big improver. That's number seven. Race seven, narrow rate of 93, 1400 meters. Um, I'm going with Tread Swiftly. Um, he does, he's run in three features his last three runs. There's perfect course and distance for him and he could easily end up winning it. So now if he doesn't win it, there's a whole lot of horses that come back off a rest. Mr. Pigal, Desert Ro Desolate Road, that's Riblin's runner, drawn two. Uh, Naval Secret, uh, number four, uh, got very good form. And then Ralph Ra the Rascal got excellent form over the course and distance. Paul Peters got City by the Sea. Spring High's got good form. And uh, Dennis Fry's run of Via Solerios, the big outsider. And Sniper Shot won a million rand. And he's a huge outsider too. So that's why I say it's one of those races. Um, I'm going with Fred Swiftly. I think he's the right horse. Desolate Road might be the danger. But they'll, as I say, they'll all come off a rest. Race 8, Mary rated 70, 1400 meters. Well, you've got to go three horses here. It looks like an absolute three horse affair. One Zanetto. If this gets to the front, um, she should be able to win. But High Velocity and Kamora both come into the race with a chance. Kamora, um, course just in a jockey. Um, the last run was a very good win and only got four points for it. So that might easily get Kamora back in the fray here. Yeah. And High Velocity's got very good form. All in all, very competitive days racing at um, Craybill, and uh, the exotics should pay extremely well. So from me, James Goodman, uh, to all of you 